Hello and welcome to this edition of Godot Blitz Tutorial, where we are going to be discussing how to create a tile map in Godot, a 2D tile map. So first thing you want to go ahead and do is create a custom node. You can go ahead and call this uh, your tile map. And we're going to go ahead and hit Control S to save that. And now we can go ahead and begin. The first thing we want to do is go ahead and load up a sprite. This sprite is going to be our base node for each cell on the tile map. So what we want to go ahead and do is get as much settings that all the cells have in common set on our sprite. And then we're going to duplicate it. So the first thing that we need is children nodes. If you want your map to be able to interact with and cast shadows on lighting effects, then we're going to go ahead and create a light occluder. And we're also going to go ahead and create a static body 2D. Next, underneath our static body, we're going to go ahead and add a collision shape 2D. And at this point, we have our base sprite nodes. We want to go ahead and go into our region. We're going to enable our region. For my tile map, I use cells of 32 by 32 pixels. So if you use 64 by 64 pixels or whatever your dimensions of your cells are, this is where you want to enter them right here. And we're going to go ahead and put 32, 32 there and make sure region is enabled. Last but not least, we're going to go ahead and load our actual texture for our tile set. Go into your texture, find it, click on it, find your import tab and ensure that filter is disabled. Now, what you're most likely going to see when you load yours up is something like this. If you notice this right here, we have lines around the edges. By default, when you load up a texture, the filter flag is enabled and filter blurs out the outermost pixels. So what's happening here is there's pixels on the outside of our region that are being blurred and bleeding inside of our actual region. So to fix that, we go ahead and disable the filter and click re-import. And now we get a true to life import of the texture that we've assigned. So the next thing we're going to do is go ahead and make this node invisible. And at this point, our node is ready to be duplicated. We have six tiles in our overall tile set. I'm gonna highlight this node, hit Control D, Control D, Control D, and Control D. Go ahead and make your first tile visible. And now we're gonna go ahead and ensure that the region is set correctly, which on mine it is, it's zero, zero. Under region, rec, zero, zero. This means it's in the upper left corner of our image texture that we've set. So that's correct. Next we're gonna go into static body and into our collision shape. We're gonna click collision shape I'm going to go ahead and do a new convex polygon shape. Now, depending on your tile, you may want to use a circle shape. You may want to use a square shape. But for me, for this, I am going to go ahead and use a new convex polygon shape. So when I click that, I go into here. And now we have our points. When we go into points, I see that I am probably going to need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight points. So I'm going to go ahead and up my size to eight. My first point that I'm going to go ahead and start at is probably right here where my mouse is. That is going to be a negative 16 at a positive eight. And my next is going to be probably right here. So I'm going to go ahead and do a negative 16 again. And this is going to be at a positive 16. Uh, my next point right here that is going to be a 16 16 and my third point is actually going to be all the way up here and that point is going to be 16 negative 16 and then you want to go ahead and set up your light occluder click occluder click new occluder polygon and now we have these nifty tools which we used to have in our collision shape but for some reason i don't see them anymore and we can trace the outsides of our shape like so now if you're seeing this is all kind of crazy and haphazard what i failed to do here is to go ahead and turn on use pixel snap so we go ahead and do that and now we can correct our points and they'll snap to the nearest pixel which will keep everything nice and dandy as we fix things and voila excellent and then the next thing you're going to go ahead and do is click on your second one i for naming convention um would go ahead and move over to the left one so I do this. This is not going to affect anything. This is just uh, your name and how I keep reference. You're going to want to go ahead and make your next node visible and make your other one not visible. And we can go ahead and set our region. Our region is going to be 32. And once we set that, we see that we have our next cell. At this point, you want to go ahead and set up your collision shape. And now go ahead and do that for the rest of your tile set. And once you have all this done, the last step is to go ahead and go to scene, convert to and you want to go ahead and click on tile set and save this wherever you do. 
and make sure it is a .tres. Once you do that, we're going to go ahead into the editor and create a tile map node. I'm going to name that main TS again, specific to my game. That name really doesn't matter unless you specifically code for it. The first thing we're going to do is go ahead and load up the tile set that we just created. And now we can see that we have everything here, but we're not ready to use it just yet. Go into cell. By default, the cells of tile maps in Godot are set to 64 by 64. Our cells, however, are 32 by 32, so we go ahead and change that there. The quadrant size, you're going to want to tinker with in order to get the best performance. However, I will set that to 12 now. The best way to think about this is your maximum camera resolution inside the game. Um, divided by 4, and then divided by your cell size, and then slightly higher than that. And I don't know if that's 100% accurate, but that's how I think about it. So if I'm wrong, go ahead and correct me. That's pretty much all we need. You can set your collision. Um, my collision uses the first basic layer as the environment, and this is indeed what we are creating here. And you can use the light occluder in the same manner. As of that, we are ready to go ahead and paint the tile set. So you click right here. If you use control shift, you can drag and drop like that um, and use a fill tool. If you don't use control shift, then you can go ahead and just click. And what we're gonna do is uh, go ahead and create this floor here. Next, I am going to go ahead and use this and create a slope and take this. Now, what I did with this tile set is we can use this tool to rotate our tiles. So I can go ahead and do that, rotate it back, maybe one more time, do that, and there we go, nice, and rotate it one more time. And now we got a nice little nice rolly slope. And that's pretty much all there is to it. For now, that has been this episode of Godot Blitz Tutorial. If you like that, please consider going ahead and smashing your computer monitor. And if you think that is a poor idea, then go ahead and click the like button and maybe think about going sliding your mouse over to the subscribe button as well. Um, it would be highly appreciated. And until next time, peace.